I'm all right, look, I'm here with it. Right here is this little gasket for the shifter. I'll be damned if I'm going to put this whole thing back together and it's going to leak out of the shifter hole. So let's get this out of here. And then pop this new one in. And I can go ahead and slip the shifter in. It's been pre lubed. Get all the linkages ready. I'm not trying to complain or nothing, but uh, in this book, if you ever get this book, you know, I'm here and it says to put on a valve body. Nothing about putting a shifter back on. Filter pan. But then you turn a couple more pages and all the stuff that I had to guess myself on how it all goes back together, it's all in here. But there's no reference in the previous literature on how to do any of it. Look, this is where every lip seal goes in the whole transmission. Here's an exploded view of the whole transmission. Luckily, I noticed this. I saw an extra pin I had laying out. Had to take the metal off the bottom again and slip this pin into this accumulator on the upside of the metal sheet. Because this one had a pin, but this pin's thicker. And it just didn't occur to me because I haven't done this before on how to do it. So as you go through, it's got all the exploded views of everything. Just, this would be helpful up in the front when you're trying to do it. More pictures of this than you know what to do with. And then on the pump rebuilding, so all those extra O-rings that I have and ceiling rings and the double step O-rings, they all go in there. Here's where all your bearings go. and how to get the wire out in case you didn't know. That would have been helpful all the way in the front when that was taking the wire out. So if you buy this book and you have questions on what the hell you're doing, if you haven't done this before, flip to the back, it's where all the answers are. So now I'm going to flip all the way to the destruction part in the destructions. And look at how you put the shift linkage back on. So when you put it in gear, this is the little flute that directs the fluid through all of this to make it shift through gears. Now I have to figure out how the hell I took this out. <clears throat> you know, it probably came off when I had this off. So now I'm gonna have to take the spring back off the whole shift a rod back out to put this back on. Another. Two steps forward, one step back. Or two steps back, one step forward type of thing. There you go. Yeah, that's the one. All right, let me fight with this. Now, can I get this rod back on? This rod but everything's still hooked up to the parking deal. Okay. Drop that in, hook it in, take this out or up. Don't let this come out of there. This is why this isn't in the manual. What, because it's frustrating? It's a freaking pain in the ass. Yeah, the manual would say a bunch of curse words. Right. That'd be funny. Um, now, install this lever into this lever, and then you get like question mark, exclamation point, pound sign. Yeah, Yes, yeah, exactly. The hashtag, dollar sign. Uh-huh. And you want to know why? This is why. <laughs> 
Well, I can't make this twist like it needs to twist to get in here. So maybe I can try putting this in here first and then while keeping that in there, twist this to, hey buddy, you can't see what the hell you're doing. However, bro is in. Get that in. Let's take this all the way over here. Aha. No, you bastard. Okay, cool. Man, that, that, that first gear lock pin just, just now oh, it's just right there. Almost there, it's so close, but so far. No, no, it's in. This is all together how it's supposed to be. Now I just have to shove it all this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. But this is now hooked around the front of the case. So the whole thing is just a puzzle. Yeah. A giant jigsaw puzzle. All right. I ain't trying to be jigging, you know what I'm saying? Can't be jigging. All right, so that, that's that's beautiful, except for this needs to be on the other side of this. And that is a hook. So, um, there's a hook. Yeah, so how do I rotate this? Behind here. That is the only thing that is stopping me. Yeah, it's this, and then I can put the filter on and the damn pan on. Oh, it came out the, uh, it came out the spark anyway. Sorry, I can push that in with a screwdriver. It's not too big a deal. So, like I said, in a kick. Tail shaft bolts are all the same. Uh, there's one O-ring. I said this one looks fresh, but got another one in the kit, so I'm gonna put it on. So and this this one is a little stiff. Yeah, this one's nice yeah, and soft. Is loose, so yeah, this is definitely a lot softer than that. The soft will seal. The soft has a little bit of oil on it. So put it on to the orange on the outside, just how the other one was. Grab your little buddy, Mr. Pick here, and try to slide this on. If you was to think to put a ring on. At least two in this Le case. At least two. So then once it's on, check for the orange to be on the outside and down all the way around. I think you see on that bit, black face now. Yeah, so it flips here. That's yeah, nice and flat. Right. Oh, he's done a thing. Yeah, at least he's done that. Done a thing. So the inside of there is nice and clean. I don't see the need to do any farther here. However, where the speed sensor goes in, I think on a four by four, they're in the middle of the case, but on a two wheel drive, they're all the way back here in the back. You can make a two wheel drive case, four wheel drive vice versa, but you got to change at the tail shaft. So I don't see a seal back here. It must be an O-ring on the uh, sensor itself. Yeah, but nevertheless, that's nice and clean. And I'll just put it back on a little dirty. 
Look how brown. I just wait, like, look, look at that. That looks like motor oil. But, yeah. Alright, so the bushing and the seal look good, but I have a seal. So might as well pop the new one in. This one's uh yeah, nice and rubbery. And this one is uh it's still nice and rubbery. You know what? I'm gonna go if it ain't broke, don't fix it on this one. I'm gonna leave it alone. Save it in case it does, because you can always do it later. Uh little goo. You got the goo? Got the goo. Where's the goo? There's the goo. The green goo. And then uh, I'll just lubricate the inside of the seal with the assembly glue. Yeah, this this one's nice and pliable. It feels just like the other one. I don't really see the reason to go ahead and change that seal. So it doesn't bite me in the ass later. And uh, we'll go ahead and goo this one. But uh, yeah, it's all over it. When we do your transmission, we're gonna paint it just to make sure it doesn't work, okay? All right. That's like bringing a banana on a boat. It's yeah. cleaning and painting the transmission. It's like, oh, it's all pretty. No one will ever see it, and you can stick it in, and the damn thing don't work. Yep. Oops, this can go on six different ways, but you always put the mount up or down, but it's upside down, so it's going up. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? What? Well, put some uh, goo on it, bushing in there. Good. Put some on the seal, but didn't grab the bushing. <laughs> this doesn't see a whole lot of fluid back in here. So this will ensure this is lubricated until some fluid does get back in here. Ensured lubrication. It's always a plus. You got the bolts. Got all the bolts. Got all the bolts. This is good for 50 foot pounds of torque. So I know I'm not over torquing nothing with this. This is the speed sensor. It's got a little magnetic pickup in there, but there's a little O-ring. So this doesn't leak. We'll uh, go and change this now. The sensor's good. Like that one. Okay. <coughs> There's the explosion. Yep. So that one looks to be like this one. One of the only horns is left. Of course, when it hits the ground, it gets sand all over it. Now, this has been wiped clean. Go ahead and Pop that over there. We better fit. All right. You guessed it. 
pass out the goo. Speed sensor. So this correlates with your two front wheel bearing speed sensors and triangulates to let traction control kick in and all that other stuff. Because if this is spinning fast and your front wheels are going, it knows you're doing a burner. This is why I always put my bolts back where I take them out so there's no guesswork. No, I'm gonna do that too. It's clean. There's residue from the old O-ring. It tells me they didn't goop this last time. It's no, goop now. No gooping. Yeah, nice and sealed. Nice and sealed. Oh, shock a lock. Back end is buttoned up. Mm. That's the part I've been waiting for for a long time. Here's the gasket. I can pull up on a tail shaft now because I'm not yanking on the uh, output shaft. Put a little something in this hole so it won't learn to rotate the rest of the way. There. That's straight. I've never had to use any RTV or anything like that to make these seal. I got a rubber one down here. <clears throat> I could probably reuse it. It was on for a whole like two hours. So, so it's probably still good. If they gave me a cork one in a kit, I'll just go ahead and use that. This filter is full of uh, black stuff. Good. And we'll go ahead and spray this out in the bucket. Yeah, this transmission was working, but it's full of dust. And uh, I don't like it. So it's not very trusty. We'll clean that out. At least I know now that uh, if it works, it'll work for a long time. Brake parts cleaner. Ow. I think that was the last can of brake parts cleaner I had. You gotta get more. No, that's it, we're done. Unless you wanna clean it and paint it to ensure it doesn't work. So the inside of this pan, and now everywhere where the gasket surface meets, is now rock free, grit free, and should seal awesome. So, there's a square right here in this pan. That's where your magnet goes to catch any type of bearing or metallic material to keep it from going through the filter or the transmission. It's for extra life, so just kind of just wipe this off. I think you'll ever get all of it off. 
as long as it's clean. That's where it goes. It's all dirty from being on the little pan. The yeah. pan. On the bucket, yeah. So normally I'll go and I'll tap all these holes the reverse direction from this side to flatten them out, but I did that already when I put this on. And I don't really torque the crap out of them because you're not supposed to. So now we'll go ahead and pop all the transmission bolts in. Never torque one of these, but the torque specs on your pan gasket are nine foot pounds. So, so the only thing I got left tomorrow <clears throat> is put the servo in. It's getting chilly out here tonight, so we're gonna wrap it up with this. I'll torque all of these down to nine foot pounds. And uh, that cork gasket without any type of uh, RTV is not going to leak because I'm not going to over torque it. So pick this back up tomorrow. Pico. Chihuahua. <laughs> All right, y'all, that was the shift linkage and tail shaft and pan installation. I wish I would have gotten more footage of the linkage install, but I can tell you, put that stuff together before you torque down the valve body. It makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, found it out the hard way, being this is my first one. The second one would go a whole lot smoother. So the next thing I gotta do is put on the 2.4 servo and put the bell housing in, then stick it back in the truck. So we'll see how that goes. Thank y'all for watching Modified. Appreciate everyone pressing that like and subscribe button. I'm up to 333 people, y'all, that watch me do this. So thanks. Um, I try to do a long upload every week and shorts during the middle of the week. So thanks for checking out Modified. Catch you next Friday.